Hello you guys, welcome back to the vlogs. Today is Tuesday and I'm in the car right now because I'm going to get my nails done. Um, I have been breaking my nails like crazy, like it is really bad and really painful. So I am getting fresh nails put on and so I'm just sitting in my car right now. I'm going to a place that's right near mine and I've never been there before. So we're gonna go try it out. I'll let you guys know how it goes obviously afterwards, but I'm very excited because I um, I really need this done. So yeah, I'm just sitting in my car waiting until they open and today's gonna be a busy day. I've been up since eight, which isn't actually that early um but with the sleep schedule i've been on lately that's pretty early for me because <laughs> i've been sleeping in until like 9 9 30 um but i need to get back out into my regular sleeping schedule and just waking up early getting the day started so yeah, so that's what I'm doing. And then later today, I'm gonna go help Emma move some of her boxes into her new apartment. So that'll be fun. I'm just gonna go give her an extra hand and I think it's just gonna be her and I there um, doing that. So um, yeah, she obviously helped me with my move. So I'm gonna go and help her out and I wanna see her new place. So that's what we're doing. I'm gonna go inside now because they just opened and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I am just leaving the building right now, my apartment building, and I'm going to go help Emma. I'm gonna show you guys my nails once I get in the car because I completely forgot to do that this morning. Okay, hi, sorry. Um, just had to get organized. But okay, look at my nails. They did such a good job. I'm not even joking. I think I put gloss right there, but I'm not even joking. Probably the best nails I've ever had in my entire life. These are acrylics, just French, and I usually get dip powder, but um, I just felt like getting something different, and I feel like my dip powder, it never lasts, and it is that gel or like acrylic effect, but um, yeah, obviously acrylics like look way better, but dip powder is way better for your nails, so... I don't know, I just went and um, got acrylics, but they look so good. They're a little bit longer than I'm used to, so it's gonna be something that I have to get used to with like texting and doing things, but yeah, so I just got in the car, obviously, um, and I'm gonna go help Emma move into her apartment, so I'll see you guys when I get there. Okay, hello guys. Hey. We are in Emma's new bathroom and we are organizing. It looks stunning. At the new pad, you guys. Um, it's so good. So obviously you can check out her apartment tour on her channel, but give them a sneak peek. You wanna you wanna show? Give them a sneak peek. Give okay. A sneak peek we'll just give a sneak peek of this for now. You can show them the apartment too. So cute. New cabinetry yes. in the bathroom, you guys. All you need is just like little organizational things. You yeah. know you should get, there's um, you should get on Amazon, there's like little cups that you can put stuff in. Yeah, I, I think like you need to get that. Like little, um, you know, I don't know how to explain what yeah, I'm saying. No, but like, like organizational stuff. Yeah. I feel like it's just gonna be, I'm not using my space to its potential yet. Yeah, but honestly, this is huge. Like it has right? lots of room, yeah. I like yeah. it. And then cute. the floors. Chris Jenner who? So cute. Chris Jenner who? Inspo always, Inspo. but yeah, Thank you. so exciting.
Show me your apartment. Stunning. I'm putting in the cup for now. Yeah. Can I get the she hardly made it through the door? Yeah, but we got it. The stunning queen. The stunning queen couch. So cute. So right now it is nine o'clock and I am home from Emma's. I got home maybe like an hour ago and I've just been hanging out on the couch, but I am going to work out right now. Um, our gym is open in our building, but you're only allowed one person in the gym at a time or one household. And so you have to book sessions to go and they just, or we just realized that they just started doing this. So tonight, the only time available was 9.15. So we're gonna go do a little workout. I'm pretty tired and my stomach kind of hurts because we had mac and cheese at Emma's and it was so good, but I just feel like dairy does not agree with me most days. So I have a bit of a stomach ache. So I'm gonna do a light workout just because I haven't fully worked out in a really long time. So I'm gonna take it easy, kind of go into it but i'm gonna bring you guys along with me me and austin are going i don't know what he's doing but we're probably gonna be doing different stuff but yeah i just got on my workout outfit and we're gonna head down there so i'll take you guys with us wow nice. pretty nice Okay, so we just got to the gym. This is our first time being in here and it's so nice. It smells like a new gym. And so we only have an hour, so I'm gonna get started, but I'm gonna start on the treadmill because that is what I wanna start with. So, oh wait, this one was just clean, so I'm gonna go on this one. Okay, stunning. Okay, good morning you guys. Today is Wednesday. I'm just getting ready to start my day. I'm getting ready and going to do my makeup and hair. So I thought I would just film that with you guys because I always love chit-chatting with you guys while I get ready. It's just like part of my routine. So we are going to do my everyday makeup routine. Um, I'm going to kind of go through with you guys and show what I've been doing lately. Things have changed quite a bit. So um, yeah, I thought I'd show you guys what I've been doing, what I've been loving, and this is gonna be really hard to film because I have a ring light in front of me and then just like my makeup bag in my hand. So sorry if it's not like the most um, like pleasing thing to watch, but I for foundation have been using, this is the Dior Backstage in the color um, 2.5N. And this is really dark for me, but when I have self tanner on, then it's like the perfect shade because I always had foundations that were too light and then they never matched my body when I had self tanner on. So I just mix it in with, this is the um, Dior Forever foundation and I'm obsessed with it. This is my first bottle of this that I've ever used and I love it. It's such a good foundation. I just, have really fallen in love with Dior Beauty as a brand. That's one of the main brands I've been loving over the past few months. They um, sent me a PR package a while back and it was a bunch of products I've never tried before from them. And so good, I'm obsessed. So that's what we're doing for foundation. And my skin right now is just, it's not breaking out, but it's just, I feel like the texture of it, like it feels like there's like a layer of skin that just like has to go. Um, I just feel like it doesn't sit on my face right. So I need to do like um, 
like a deep exfoliation i need to do something maybe get a facial i don't really know i don't really get facials often i think i've had like two in my entire life um so that's just like not <laughs> something i really think of doing but i know that they're so good for you and your skin so maybe 2021 is the year that i'll start getting facials okay so i might put on a little bit more foundation just because i am shooting today so i want to try and cover up some of these blemishes that i have um but yeah so today um i woke up really early this morning i showered and my mirror arrived which i'm so excited about so i'm gonna open it up once we're done getting ready here but um lots of home updates that i've not shared yet i'm sure you've already seen them on stories but if you haven't i'm gonna show you guys in the vlogs um we went last weekend and picked up our coffee table. We got it off Facebook Marketplace, which I've never had any luck with Facebook Marketplace, but yeah, we honestly just scored. And um, where's my concealer? Um, we honestly just scored on Facebook Marketplace and got our coffee table and a console. I think the coffee table was 250 and then the console was 300 which is a steal from some of the coffee tables i was looking at and about to purchase so that was really exciting to find those and i'm in love with them so for concealer what i'm using is the dior forever skin correct this is in the shade 2n which my actual shade in dior um foundation and concealers is 2n by the way and then i'm gonna take this is from kosas and i love this concealer it's a little bit yellow for my skin tone but i think it has a nice balance when i mix it with um with the dior concealer and it just brightens it up a little bit um i think this is in the color three but this brand kosas is so good i'm obsessed with all of their products i just want to try them all out um but yeah they're super good beauty and makeup brand and i love all of their stuff um so i'm just gonna blend it out and the way i used to do concealer is i'd literally just go like i don't know if you watch any of my old makeup tutorials like i would pack on concealer and so i've been doing a different technique where you just put it right here and then up there and it's supposed to lift your face which I think it's been working I mean I just had no excuse for wearing that much makeup um, like I'm not even sure if it looked good but but yeah so definitely taking the more like natural route with my makeup routine but now we're just gonna take my um, Laura Mercier powder. I'm going to set my chin and my forehead. I'm going to let my under eyes bake a little bit and um, we'll come back to that. But my camera is being so weird it's so broken the screen so sometimes it like flips upside down because it thinks that i don't even know how to explain it but i need to get my camera fixed so that's definitely on my to-do list um for this month i'm gonna say i feel like that's a realistic goal to go take my camera in this month um but okay so for contour bronzer this is a duo from kevin aquan and I don't know the price point on this, but I would recommend anybody to get this. It is such a versatile um, palette. It's small, so it can be fit. It can fit in your purse. It is amazing. I've been using it um, to contour my cheekbones. I've been using it to contour my nose, which I never did before, and I've been using it as an eyeshadow and then um, a highlight. It's just the best palette I've ever had. And so I just kind of 
lightly create a little like chiseled type look with the contour shade and I'm just gonna contour my face and I definitely have gotten carried away with this product at times um, not really like realizing how powerful it is so just be careful because a little goes a long way this is my Doucet palette I'm just gonna take some of the bronzer and just bronze my cheekbones just a little bit I always love like a heavy bronzer I think that that's like a signature in my makeup look it's always been a huge part of my makeup routine just because I'm so pale which I mention every single time I do my makeup or anything to do with skincare tanning makeup I always have to mention how how naturally pale I am which I don't know why I have to mention that but it's like the first thing that comes to my mind um but anyway yeah I've always overloaded the bronzer because I'm pale so now we're gonna go on to blush and I have been really into cream blushes lately which is something that I have not ever really dabbled into i still love my other blushes that i use um, but these ones are really good so this is nude sticks and this is the shade bareback it's like a really nice just classic nude color you can use this for so many different things and then emma actually got me this for christmas it is a chanel blush and um it's really pretty so i'm gonna use that today because i love the color it gives me so I'm just gonna put it up here. Also, another tip I learned on TikTok is to put your blush right here and not like in the circles of your face because this gives you more of like a lifted look. So I'm gonna use the brush that comes with the nude sticks one because I don't have um, any other type of brush to blend this out and like, I'm sorry, but it's so good. I love this. And I feel like Chanel's beauty products smell so good. So I always love using them, but they're really pricey. So I don't know, some of their stuff, like I'm just not that big of a fan of. I've tried out quite a few of Chanel's makeup products, but they were good. But some of them just like aren't aren't really worth the hype but i would say if you guys are going to try something this um blush it's the number um n23 i don't know this is this is gonna focus screenshot that that's the blush really nice and so now we're done with that i'm gonna just press in the excess powder Perfect. Okay, so now going on to highlight. This has been something that I've changed multiple times, um, but where is my highlight brush? Here it is. Okay, so this is the Dior. This is their um, rose gold palette, I think. And I use this shade right here. It's like the lightest one. And I just use that as my highlight. And I'm gonna come back and put some on my nose, but I'm gonna contour my nose before I do that. I feel like I'm kind of all over the place, but it's fine. So I'm gonna go in with the Kevin Aquan palette. This is a um, Patrick Ta brush it's actually an eyeshadow brush but i've been using it to contour my nose and i don't know if it's been doing a good job or a bad job but so i use just like a little bit of product and i just create a shadow on the side of my nose i didn't blend out that one side yet but we're gonna get there and so i just kind of go back and forth until it's blended properly. And then I'm gonna use a little bit I think I actually need to get like a legit 
contour brush for my nose. But that one does the trick for now. So we're gonna go back in with the highlight palette and I'm just gonna lightly highlight my nose. Amazing. And what is the next step? Eyebrows. Mm, I hate doing my eyebrows. I just can't be bothered with it. I mean, I feel like I used to be good at doing my eyebrows and then as the years have gone on, I've just gotten worse at it and it is not fun. Okay, so I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the color Taupe. Um, this is the only eyebrow product that I use. I've tried to branch out and try other things, but it just honestly nothing compares. Um, so I'm gonna start just like that. I don't know, you guys. How I did my brows yesterday looked really good. But of course, I'm not gonna be able to do that today. I don't even know how I did them. Does that look so horrible or is it not bad? Mm, this one, they're lopsided. It's fine, it's fine. There's nothing I can do with it. Anyway, so now next step is, what is the next step? Oh, eyeshadow. I'm just gonna put a little bit on. So I've been priming my eyes with the Kosas concealer, just using like a really small amount of it on my eyelid. Stunning. And then I go back in with the Kevin Aquan palette and I'm gonna take the highlight shade right here and just put it all over my lid. Okay, amazing. And then I'm gonna take the darker contour shade and just kind of blend it out a little bit in the outer corner of my eye. This is like a lazy girl eyeshadow routine. Um, sometimes I love the way eyeshadow looks when I do my makeup and then other times I just look like a freak show. So I'm not sure if today's gonna be one of those days, but hopefully not. Okay, great. Um, now for the eyeliner, this is a little trick I've been doing as well. So I've been using my Dip Brow Pomade eyebrow, um, eyebrow stuff, you know, <laughs> my Dip Brow. And I've been using this Patrick Ta eyebrow brush and I've been using it to do my eyeliner and I'm not joking, it creates the most natural winged eyeliner it is pretty cute and i just like liquid black eyeliner is just not for me watch me mess this up because i'm on camera now mm. Good, not great. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, anywho, I messed up, but it's fine. It just creates like a natural look. And so now we are going to go in with mascara. And this is something I'm actually really excited to show you guys is the mascara I've been using. So I came across this when I was doing a video for Revolve Beauty and they had sent it over for the video and well, I, I actually chose it and I'd never tried this brand before. I just saw that it had a good rating and I chose it for the video. Um, I also chose this palette as well and it ended up being one of my faves and same with the Kosas concealer. So lots of favorites that I found because of that video, which I'm really happy about. But it is the Wander Beauty Mile High Club um, volume in like the mascara. The best mascara I've ever tried in my life. I can't even explain it, but it's it's not a really wet consistency. It's pretty dry, actually. And I think that that creates such a good eye. Like, I'm sorry, it's so good. Like, it's stunning. I just got a little bit on my eyelid, but it's okay. And what is the next step? Like a day. Oh, the inner corner of my eye. Okay, so going back to this Dior highlight palette, I've been taking just this little um, MAC 208 brush and I've been dipping it in the shade that I used for my highlight and I just put a little bit in the inner corner of my eye just to make it pop and brighten that area. Cute. Last but not least, we have the lips. So, if I can find my lip liner, there it is. Okay, so obviously, we don't even need to talk about this Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. Stunning. And then I've just been using a little bit of gloss afterwards, and this is from Kosas Beauty as well. It is their um, wet lip oil in the color Jellyfish. And so I've just been putting a little bit in the center of my lips, and it just creates like a nice little shine. But this has been my everyday makeup routine lately. I think it's just really cute and natural, but it's still enough for um me because i usually used to do like a really full face um but yeah so that is my makeup i'm not sure what i'm wanting to do with my hair i just blow dried it and i can't decide if i want to flip the ends i think i might just do that because it's the easiest so i'm gonna go get my stuff and then i'll be back so they reached out to him yeah wow
Okay guys, so I thought I would quickly show what the space looks like right now because I have not shared what the coffee table situation um, is looking like and it is so cute, it's perfect. It's this stone um, and glass circle coffee table and if you guys know, um, I feel like I talked about this a bit on the podcast but I've just had such a hard time finding a coffee table that I liked and I found it on Facebook Marketplace like I've already said but it's honestly perfect and these flowers, I don't really know where I'm going to put them. They kind of don't really match the situation that I have but I just got them um, in the mail. Austin actually got them for me. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's honestly perfect and our rug should be arriving today, which is very exciting. So I'll show you guys what it looks like if it arrives. But yeah, this is the coffee table and then I'll show you guys the console in just a second. Okay, so here is the matching console and it's so cute. This isn't how I'm gonna be decorating it. I'm just waiting for the stuff to arrive. So the mirror actually came today, which I'm gonna unbox right away. And then I ordered some prints from Decenio. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I'm gonna put one of the prints there. Um, and I might layer it with a smaller one. I just kind of wanted to see for sizing how it looks once it arrives. It's the most perfect console for this space just because it is very small and it is kind of awkward with the wall coming out like that. So I was worried about finding something that would fit. And once I saw this, I just knew it was gonna be perfect. And so that is our new console. Okay, good morning you guys. Today is Thursday and I didn't get to show you guys what I had gotten in the mail over the past few days and a bunch of stuff arrived yesterday and I don't know if I got any footage of it because my camera died and I can't remember <laughs> when it died. So I thought I'd show you guys everything that I picked up over the past few days. The apartment is finally coming together, which is so exciting. Everything is arriving in the mail and I should have everything up by the end of the month. I think I've said that a million times, but I'm so excited that it's just finally becoming a home now and a space that we can live in. So the very first order that I made was from Zara Home and I actually didn't know that Zara Home shipped to Canada, like I just thought it was in Europe. But I found out over the Christmas break that Zara Home does ship to Canada, so I ordered a few things. So the first thing I got is this salad bowl, and I only have, we only have one salad bowl, and it's really deep, and so since there's just two of us, I just wanted something a little bit smaller, and I thought that this is really cute that it has the gold lining on it so i think that, that is super cute i'm not sure how much this was but i think it was a pretty good price so that is the first thing from zara home and then the next item that i got is really big and i am obsessed with it it is this stand up mirror from Zara home um, but it's really pretty it's gold and then um, marble on the bottom and this is perfect for our second bathroom and I was not expecting it to be this big like I thought it was just gonna be like a small <laughs> bathroom mirror but I love the size of it because um, in our spare bathroom it's pretty plain in there like I don't really have much for decor so this definitely fills up the space and I did need a close mirror for doing my makeup when I get ready in the morning, so this is perfect. And I got a lot of questions when I posted this on Instagram last night, and it's unfortunately sold out at the moment, but if it ever comes back, I'll definitely let you guys know. And they do have some similar options. It doesn't look, they don't look exactly like this, but they are pretty similar, or you could just search the web for, um, type in gold and marble stand-up mirror, and there should be some options for you on there. I'm sure Amazon has something similar, but yes, this is like one of my favorite things that has come in the mail. I think it's so cute. So that is the next item from Zara. Then I just got this little tray. I don't even know what it is. It's just plastic it's just a plastic tray um, for the bathroom and I'm gonna set all of our perfumes on it we don't have too much but um, just to have them out and on a cute plate like this is really nice to just kind of jazz up your bathroom so I got this and I think it's really cute and it fits the space perfectly I just had um, 
our stuff on there like our fragrances uh, before I took it out for this video and it looks really cute so that is the next thing Okay, and then moving on, I went to a local store yesterday. I forget what it's called, but they had this really cute bowl. And so I was looking for something for the console so that we can put our keys into. And I thought this is super cute. Kind of looks like a flower or a shell, um, but it's this kind of like marbly stone, which I'm really loving using for accents in the place. Um, so you'll see there's quite a bit of marble, but I'm not going to overdo it with the marble i'm just gonna have like a good amount but i think cute little things here and there just kind of spruce up the space okay so the next thing that i got in the mail are these really cool glasses they're from firm living and they're just clear ribbed tall glasses they're super thin i have to mention if any of you are planning on purchasing it one of them broke so i only have three of them when they come in a set of four which is really disappointing and sad because i'm obsessed with them but yeah these are really cool i just was expecting the quality to be a little bit better on them which um sucks but they're still really cute and i still have three left so that's okay i might make another order but i'm kind of skeptical now just because the other um glass came broken and the way that they secure their glassware is like there's no styrofoam there's no bubble wrap there's no stuffing there's nothing it's literally just in like a cardboard thing um so it's no wonder that they broke and it doesn't even say fragile on the box so yeah but they're really cute i think it's me so cute for my morning coffee um or something like that i'm not sure but those are from firm living and then i also got okay i don't know how to pronounce this but it's caraf carafe carafe it's so cute the cup just sits on top like this and then you can fill this with water and put mint in it or you can put like a drink in it like some sort of like alcoholic drink i guess and then just pour it in i think it's adorable it's such a cute accessory and i'm obsessed it's also from firm living and the quality on this is no different from the glasses that i just showed you guys so just beware if you are planning on purchasing them they're a good price though um so i mean yeah it just sucks that it broke but next item i got these coasters marble coasters from amazon i was looking just for coasters for um, our nightstands and the coffee table i had such a hard time finding them i have no idea why um but i stumbled upon these on amazon and i just immediately got them i think that they were like 20 dollars for a set of six which is pretty good and they look really cute in the space and they match all of the marble things that i've gotten so far so these are really cute and then also from amazon i'm just kind of reaching over and grabbing as i see things um this is a coffee table book so cute it's the monaco guide to good business and super interesting it shares inside a bunch of stories of different businesses like there's um like how to run a farm how to run a magazine um how to run a record label it's so cool so interesting and kind of shows steps to running a good business which i think is really interesting so i haven't had a chance to fully look through this yet but one day i will get to that maybe this weekend but um okay two last things left i don't know how i'm gonna show these last two but i got this mirror and Okay, so the very last thing, you can see my camera right there in the reflection, but I got this mirror. It's from Firm Living and I'm obsessed with it. It's called the Pond Mirror and it's in the size large, but so cool. I'm so happy I got my hands on this because when I was searching for it, it was extremely back ordered, but I'll post the link from the website where I ordered it from where you can get immediate shipping, which is stunning, but I can't wait to set this up somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where it's going to go yet, but it is so cute and it's really heavy. So I need to get it off my lap, but this was another thing that came in the mail. <laughs> Okay, and then very last but not least, our rug arrived in the mail, which I'm so excited about. It just makes the space look so much more cozy and just gives off such a better vibe and just kind of 
yeah, it makes the space look a little bit more done. So this is from Zara Home. Actually, it was $2.99, I believe. So it was a really great price. It's really good quality. So I am obsessed with this. And yeah, we have a few more things that are coming. The huge, I forget what the chair's called. Um, but like, it's just a huge, a huge, like puffy chair. It's coming. So I think we're going to put it right there. And then um, what else do we have? Well, this is our TV stand right now. It's Amazon boxes. So that area is just kind of a mess, but our console, um, what is it called? Like media console will be coming by the end of the month. And yeah, so update on the space. Everything looks so good so far. And I should, I'd show you guys. So that is what it looks like. Okay, hello guys. Good morning. Don't look at my face right now. I know that um, I'm not looking that cute, but today I actually just finished kind of cleaning my office closet room. I'm not fully done, but I'm just gonna kind of stop here for now because I have to get ready for the day. I'm kind of running late, but I wanted to quickly show you guys some things that have come in the mail over the past few days and I'm so excited about them. Um, okay, so in my closet, I have been looking for um, organization for my purses and so I got these online from the container store and they took quite a while to come in not gonna lie i ordered them like beginning of december and they they arrived um actually a few weeks ago but um i just haven't shared them with you guys yet but so perfect if you guys have smaller bags it just makes your life so much easier and just this whole space was just so cluttered with a bunch of random stuff and i had nowhere to store my purses nicely so this is a very very good thing to purchase if this is kind of like what you're looking for and if you have lots of smaller bags that you don't know where to put them this obviously i'm not sure what's going on <laughs> what's going on here with this bag but this backpack is the most durable thing of life and it's stuffed so don't worry i'm not i'm not ruining it or anything that backpack could go um, all over the world and just come back looking the exact same. It is the perfect um, designer item because it just, something about Louis Vuitton just never gets just, de never gets destroyed. Sorry, I can't talk. But yeah, I thought I'd show you guys that. My closet, I just briefly cleaned it and then we have my clothing rack right here I need to get so these are my robes and I just fling them over the door but I need to get one of those hooks that hang on the back of the door so that I can hang them um, I just haven't found one but I'm gonna look today online and see if I can order one okay so I just did my makeup I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep my hair like this because I can picture myself not liking it when I start shooting so I'm gonna find out what I'm gonna wear because I'm just I'm running late like I've already said but um I really just need to get my stuff together and leave and so let me take a peek let me take a look see I don't know <laughs> I have no idea what to wear um I kind of want to wear something like cute, but I don't know. I don't know what that could be. Okay, I don't know if this is just horrible lighting, but something about this I really like. The only thing is that, can you see this? It might be really bad lighting, but I have on the Sturette set that I said I wasn't going to wear. Um, and then I have on my Prada um, sweater and then my loafers and I actually really like this but I feel like I'm wondering if I should save this for a different day because I'm very <laughs> I'm very pale right now and I would hate for me to not like the photos um, but like love the outfit so what do you guys think I don't really know I'm gonna try on something else and then I'll figure it out Okay, so I've actually decided that I'm going to wear this outfit. I just do not have the energy to pick out a new one, and I really like this, so I'm going to wear it. But I got some stuff in the mail that just arrived, so I'm going to show you guys what I got because it's more home stuff, which is so exciting. 
Um, but I'm just currently, <laughs> I'm just walking back and forth. Um, I'm just bringing it from the door out into the living room so that I can give you guys a fun little haul. That was heavy. Okay, so I'm gonna be opening up these boxes right now. Um, this is the only space in the apartment that I could um, make this work in. So I'm just in the kitchen and I'm just gonna show you guys what I picked out. So this very first package is from H&M and I actually ordered this a really long time ago. So it was supposed to arrive with it. Ah! Okay. It was supposed to arrive within like four days or something and it took a long time to get here. So, um, yeah. Anyway, H&M. H&M Home is another place I discovered because I didn't know that they also shipped to Canada. That might be a new thing, but first thing I got are these really cute shorts. Wait, what size are these? Oh, shoot. Oh, I thought I ordered the small and these are the medium kit. It's fine, but just super cozy shorts. Um, I might have to return those. And then this is the matching sweater and I think that it is so cute and cozy um if it's still available I'm gonna link it but it might not be just because of when I ordered this so these are both in the medium I thought I ordered a medium sweater and a small shorts so I'll try it on later let you guys know if it fits but yeah first thing is that then I don't even know at this point I don't even know what I ordered because it was a while ago but I I think it's um like I like I do I actually do know but like I just can't really remember so okay cute okay this is a candlestick holder totally forgot about this um very very cute I'm gonna put it I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but I really love it. And I just think all of this like cement, ceramic looking stuff is very much what I'm into. So that is the next thing, very cute. Um, I love candlesticks and I think that they look so cool in candlestick holders. So this one's very unique. And so that's also from H&M Home. And then I have a big boy. The big boy down there. Okay, so I got a rug. Um, this is for the bathroom. And you guys can tell me if you like it or not. I'm honestly not sure if I'm obsessed with it. Actually, I like it. You know what? I like it. Okay, this is just a bath mat we have one in our spare bedroom or our spare bathroom but it's just kind of getting um <laughs> it's just kind of getting it used so um i thought i'd get a new one this one was only i think it was only like 14 dollars or something like that and i just thought the design it was really cute and so i'm kind of just into this like unique textural i don't even know what this type of um interior decor design is called um but yeah i'm really into that and so i feel like my style has just changed so much when it comes to decor like i really feel like i've kind of found what i what i'm into when it comes to that kind of stuff which i think is really cool and really fun because now um when i go shopping and stuff um, or if I'm looking for something online, like I kind of have an idea of, that was not good. That was really not good. Um, anyway, I have an idea of, uh, what I'm looking for, I guess. So. I really don't know what's going on. Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I ordered this. Um, I didn't know that you would have to assemble it yourself. Um, I'm sure it's not that hard. 
but it's this wicker box and I don't know what I'm gonna put in this box maybe it'd be good for like um, depending on how big it is it could be good for like magazines or storing um, coffee table books or maybe Austin's schoolwork and so it's just black lined and then this is what it will look like um, once it's built so I'm gonna get Austin to build that for me because I mean, it's really not gonna be hard. Like you just stick these in the holes, but yeah, anyway, he's gonna do that. Very cute. I remember I took a whole bunch of stuff out of my cart when I was checking out, so I'm assuming that um, <laughs> that's why a bunch of the stuff I'm thinking of is not in this order. But I did place another order because um, I have obviously like everybody loves candles but I've really been loving candles lately but I don't know where to buy like nice affordable ones um and so I was looking on West Elm and they had like a really nice huge like I want a big one that's gonna last me a long time and so West Elm they had like a huge one I think it was like a hundred dollars and then I went on H&M Home and they had one like maybe a little bit smaller than that it was $14, so I got it, obviously, and so that will be coming in another order, but, okay, this is so cool and so perfect. This is a vase, and I actually had ordered two of them, but then the smaller version of the vase sold out before um, they could ship my order out, so this is, I guess, the one that I'm left with. I don't know if this is the smaller size or the bigger one, I assume that this is the bigger size, but so cool. It looks, maybe it's a good thing I didn't get both of them, but it, how cool. Like, I'm obsessed. Okay, amazing. So that is it for my H&M stuff, but I do have another order coming, so we will stay tuned on these H&M hauls. Hi, vlog. Okay, hello. We are together. Um, we actually just are just walking back to the car. We just finished shooting. Um, super cute. Some Luke's. That would be cute photo. OOTDs. That would be cute. We should do that um, after I'm done <laughs> recording this. But um, yeah, we just went to this cute area that we've been going to lately um, to take some pics. So we got them. Um, it's pretty cold out, and it's we're both in skirts and dresses. So yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna part ways soon. Emma has stuff to do and I have to go clean. Finish cleaning, say I, I didn't do that. But we both have a lot of organizational stuff that we have to do. Like we both have to yeah. just like get back on our bullshit. And yeah. Organize. Figure it out. Yeah. So yeah. It was so fun. So much fun. Check out our pics on the gram. Yeah, go like them. Go we're double tap them. We're missing the car. Oh, and go listen to That's So Sabotage. Oh yeah, duh. Wait, um, can we take the photo? Oh yeah. That'd be cute. Okay, so I got home not too long ago from CB2 and I thought I would show you guys the new throw that I got and I'm obsessed with it. I think that it is so pretty and just makes these nude and neutral tones kind of all come together and look cohesive. So that was a great purchase. It's going to be linked down below in the description box. But yeah, this is the um, living room so far. I have a little picture frame. There's also just some boxes right there from the H&M stuff that came in yesterday. I've not taken that down to the recycling yet, but this is a picture frame that I got from Ikea, and I'm gonna be putting a print that's coming in the mail right there. Um, I don't know if that's exactly where it's gonna go, but I think just to have something there with, um, some sort of like texture design. It could be cool hung on the wall, but I'm kind of loving the idea of picture frames being on the ground and laying th layering them, but I don't really know what I can and can't hang on the wall, but I mean, if I'm going to be hanging a few things, I might as well um, do a few more. So I'm not really sure what that situation's like. The coffee table's kind of messy with the laptop and <laughs> Polaroids and coasters everywhere. But yeah, this is what that looks like. And then I'll show you guys the other item I got from CB2 because it's really cute. 
Okay, so I just turned on the lights in here because I was just hanging out in the dark. The sun set so quickly, so um, I didn't really realize. But also from CB2, I got, I was worried it almost <laughs> fell out of the box, but I don't think it's glass. Um, I got this candle and I'm really excited because you guys know I'm obsessed with candles right now. I just, I don't know what it is. I can't stop buying candles and just lighting a candle makes me so happy. It just makes me feel so much better. Who just messaged me? Um, it just makes me feel so much better, so happy. I just love the smell of candles. Obviously, everyone does, but... Um, this, I was actually looking for this on the CB2 website because that throw um, I was looking at online as well. And it, um, sorry, I can't think right now because I'm trying to open this. Give me one second. Okay, sorry. Um, so the story of that throw, I didn't even talk to you guys while I was at CB2 because I wasn't planning on vlogging. And then I just brought out my camera and just kind of took some random clips. But so that throw right there that I just showed you guys, um, I was looking at it online um, the other day. I was going to order it online and then we had gone into the store. They had one in the store and she said someone must have ordered it and then just not wanted it or it was either a return or something like that, but they don't usually have that in store. So I got really lucky, but this is another thing that I wanted. I thought that this candle was so cool. I don't know why. I just think that it's sitting in like a floating little um vase i guess and for that it said i wasn't gonna ship until march which made no sense to me um but they had it in the store and it smells really good i think it's fig and vanilla and yeah fig and vanilla and i don't even know what a fig smells like but i love anything vanilla so <laughs> it smells really good um i'll also link it down below but online it may say that it's shipping in march so um maybe check the local cb2 store if you're interested austin's here i'm gonna go sit back on the couch um austin is at practice right now um wait i'm getting some I'm getting some messages and um oh okay anyway just about my sneakers that i was wearing today my new balance sneakers um i ordered them from little burgundy by the way a really long time ago like probably in may um from little burgundy i had to go half a size up i think they're an eight and a half and i normally wear an eight um because they did not have my size they're completely sold out but anyway, if you guys were wondering where I got those um, New Balance sneakers from. But what was I saying? Oh, I was going to say, I thought I would just chat with you guys while I'm sitting on the couch because Austin's at practice right now. And he, um, I try and get as much work done while he's not at home um, as possible because it just makes my life so much easier. And obviously an apartment is a pretty small space and so... Um, if he's like doing school work or if he's like out in the living room because he has his TV and his ex his Xbox um, Out here. So if he is doing school work or if he's hockey's back on so he's been watching hockey um, or gaming um, I feel like the Honestly, I feel like the living room has been his his space lately um, I'm gonna claim my territory <laughs> for tonight, but um But yeah, so I try and get as much done while he's away um, just because it just makes my life easier. I'm just I feel like I can talk to you guys better Not that he makes me nervous when I talk on camera, but it just makes my life easier um, and Yeah, that's really all of the updates I have right now um, What was I there was there's some more stuff I wanted to talk about but I can't remember um I actually don't know. I should probably just go because I don't even know what to say anymore. Um, but I'm going to just hang out, watch some Real Housewives.